Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope that y'all had a great weekend and are starting off the week on a good note. If you're new here, my name is Linda Chavez and on my channel you will find all kinds of DIY content. So last week was a bit of a struggle for us here because it was raining like literally non-stop. So I thought it was a perfect opportunity for us to go ahead and do a makeover on the channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I transformed this narrow hallway space. So if you want to see that transformation, then just keep watching. Okay y'all, so this is what the hallway looks like right now. Uh, I know how some of us feel about wood being painted, so fair warning, I will be painting this. I wanted to show you that the hallway has a built-in gun cabinet that I will be repurposing for just decor. It also has a glass door. To begin this makeover, I dusted all of the walls using just a Swiffer. Okay, so the next step to do here is to go ahead and fill. I'm sure you guys can see all the small holes from where they nailed all of this trim on. You can see there, all of those holes there. Um, just so when I go to paint, I can make sure that it's nice and smooth and you're not gonna see those little holes. So, what a filler time. To try to keep any paint and dust away and off of the floors, I made sure to cover the entire area with paper and tape. I'm gonna go ahead and sand all of the spots that I filled with 220 grit sandpaper. I'm just using one of my orbital sand or sand sanding papers um, or sanding discs so I don't have to buy a block or anything like that. So I'm just gonna quickly just go over that and then we'll move on to the next step. I vacuumed and wiped everything down to get rid of any dust and since I was going to be spraying I went ahead and covered the doors with plastic and the outlets with tape as well. Because the spacing between the boards were not all even, I decided to caulk between them with some acrylic latex caulking. Oh, 
ready. Now that my walls are nice and prepped, then I'm ready to go ahead and start priming. To prime, I'm just gonna be using this Kills Primer. Um, it is pretty thick, so I am going to be thinning it out with just a little bit of water, just to make sure and not give my sprayer any trouble, make sure it flows through really, really well. So I'm just gonna mix this here. It's a bug. And I am doing this outside clearly because I'm a messy painter and I don't want to make a mess inside, obviously. So go ahead and strain it. Oh God, I'm gonna make a mess. To get better adhesion for my paint later, I made sure to back brush all the primer immediately after spraying. Alright you guys, so as you can see, everything is nice and primed, so I am just going to get in here, go ahead and start painting. I don't see the point in showing you guys all of the painting, just because it's exactly what I did for priming. Nothing's going to be different as far as technique, except I'm just going to be spraying, I'm not having to back brush. I do have a brush for the smaller areas where my sprayer won't be able to reach. But otherwise, I am just going to be spraying, so there's nothing fancy about it. You've seen me spray a bunch of furniture before, so nothing different from that. As you can see, I'm wearing something fancy here today on my hair so that I don't get paint all over my hair like I did yesterday. Um, so I'm going to put my respirator on, and I'm going to get to painting, and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Oh, by the way, I am using Bare Scuff Defense in a semi-gloss in the Ultra Pure White. So no added color to it, just in the pure white that it comes. Um, so yeah, so I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back. So it is the next day and I am done spraying all of the walls. This is what the hallway is looking like. I think it looks a heck of a lot better than it used to. As you can tell, this door needs to be painted still. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint that as well as the ceiling because the ceiling has not been painted at all yet. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we can start decorating. We decided to upgrade the light switches to more modern ones. I'm going to add an additional shelf here. So I'm just gonna measure, make my cuts, and then put it in. After I had all three cuts for my shelf support, I gave them two coats of the same semi-gloss paint and when they were dry, I attached them with brad nails. I cut my shelf board to length also and painted it in the same color.
I ordered these frames from Amazon because I knew I wanted to create a gallery wall. I made sure to double check my measurements and placement as well as making sure everything was level before placing the nails and placing my picture frames on the wall. This basket I found at my local Goodwill for $2 and I gave it two coats of matte black spray paint that I used as a pot for my faux tree. Now let's remember what this hall used to look like and what it looks like now. I want to thank you guys so much for watching i really enjoyed transforming this space and i really wanted something clean simple and more inviting and i really feel like i achieved that i feel like the space is literally unrecognizable from what it used to look like so i hope that you enjoyed this video as much as i did if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also a few of you guys let me know on my last video that your bell notifications had been disabled by youtube so if you're not already subscribed hit the subscribe button but also don't forget to hit the notification bell right next to it so that you get notified every time that I upload a new video. I know that usually I upload on Sundays and this week I was a little bit off by timing. Sometimes life just happens. So definitely hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. But anyways, you guys stay safe, be kind, and I'll see y'all next week. Bye.